last week's field trip, we took off from Fairchild Air Force Base aboard a jet tanker. This week, our field trip continues as we fly to a rendezvous point over Utah. We're cruising along over 300 miles an hour, with snowy hills and clouds far below us. A contrail from a commercial jet streaks against the deep blue sky above us. We're heading south toward California before we turn left for Utah. The navigator surveys the ground through a radar scan to help keep us on course. Our mission, as you recall, is to transfer jet fuel from our tanker to a B-52 bomber and several F-4 fighters. After another hour, the navigator tells the pilot to come to a new heading. It won't be long now. As the senior boom operator, Chief Hayes wants Sergeant Benson to check out the boom. Sergeant Benson and Chief Hayes crawl into the boom pod located in the tail of the plane. Sergeant Benson will be flying a large refueling hose called the boom. Through a system of hydraulics, the boom can be easily maneuvered up, down, and sideways by two steering handles in the boom pod. The boom checks out okay. To fly the boom, Sergeant Benson has to lie flat on his stomach looking out a small window. Finally, we receive word through our intercom. The B-52 is making its approach for refueling. The B-52 and Sergeant Benson now have radio contact. Slowly, we see the big bomber move into position. Sergeant Benson lowers the boom into operating range. Closer and closer, the huge B-52 inches up to the boom. Contact. Now the boom goes into automatic pilot. Thousands of pounds of jet fuel are transferring from our large tanks into the B-52. Within minutes, the B-52 is refueled. Captain Bloom calls for a disconnect and the bomber is off to finish his mission. Soon we hear the F-4s coming in on our headsets. Sergeant Benson's job now becomes even harder. The F-4s have a much smaller fuel receptacle. Sergeant Benson guides the first F-4 into range. As soon as he enters the receptacle, the boom will switch to automatic and move with the two planes. A green light flashes on. The boom is connected. Captain Bloom watches the fuel flow gauge so we know when the F-4 is full. After a few minutes, the first F-4 is full of fuel. Sergeant Benson pulls the trigger on his control handle. The boom instantly breaks away from the fighter. A few liters of fuel quickly vaporizes. The process is repeated for the other three fighters. After the last F-4 is refueled, our mission is complete. As the sun starts to set, we return in one day from a flight through Oregon, Northern California, and Utah. We refueled a B-52 and four F-4s, and we did it from our base in Spokane, known as Fairchild.